episode of Hacker's Misadventures in Scale Modeling. I'd like to apologize for my lack of uploads lately because life's been complicated. As you know, I had four weeks off because of my heart condition and I was a little behind my bills. So I've been working as many hours as I can to, to pay them off, which cuts into not only my money for my uh, review samples, but time actually doing review, doing the um, videos. She also had an operation, so I've been taking care of her on top of that. So please bear with me. I will get things back, back on track. It may take a couple of weeks. In the meanwhile, if you want to help out, you can go to my YouTube channel's page and up in the banner, there's a little PayPal icon that you can press on and you can donate some money towards the cause or you can go over to my Patriot page and subscribe there and get videos a week bef before I, I put them up. It's, all I'm asking is for five to ten dollars and you can you can unsubscribe anytime there's no no obligation to, to stay anyways so let's go on to the, the video I got here here so let's begin hi and welcome to a, another episode of hackers misadventures in scale modeling today we're going to be looking at 72nd scale North America Super Savers. Now, we'll start off with this book first, because this is the book I'm going to be using during the reviews. It's a scale and detail book. And I have gone through, I have this book in my, my library because it's a very detailed book. You got nice nice pictures of external stores let's see cockpit where's the cockpit you know fuselage details cockpit details history so on and so forth plus operators now the reason I got is using this book today is because I'm going to be using these drawings Now, I'm going to be using the C and, and the D. And I believe there's also a two seat version. So, I'll read the book open here. So, what I got going here today is I have a couple kits that I'm going, going to review. So the first kit we're going first thing I got several things here actually. First we have all this. Now I'm going to be doing it in order of product only in order of product production but also in order of mark so though Hotsuka one was made before everybody else we're going to do the mark C I also have this to compare it with it's a obscuro model aircraft and it's oh, I used to box boxes. Well, okay. I'm also got the uh, focus here obscure kit for to make a super saver C conversion. So let's start with this one and then we'll do the D's so get this all arranged here now 
the thing is, of all the Super Sabres I got, I got the monogram kit, I have the Italieri kit, the EMT kit, and Super kit, uh, not Super, um, Hasegawa kit, sorry. All thing, they all have one thing in common. They have the wings and a portion of the lower fuselage as one. Now, as we open this box, we'll find that this is slightly different. So we get our instruction sheets and we get our bag of parts. Now this is a used kit, so all the parts are here. I checked it to make sure. So let's get it all out and have a look. Now, let's look at the instructions. How about we get rid of the book first? We'll put this up. We'll put this to the side for now. Okay. So we get an instruction sheet with a deco layout sheet. You get two bare metal bare metal aircraft in this one. This one I particularly like. It's very color, colorful. This one's not bad either. But we're going to go with this one. So. So let's see what we got here. Well, we start off, we get a little bit of, we get the front here, but then we get get the sprue layout. Let's, let's get this and get a little bit closer. Okay. Sorry, I have to do this by hand, so I don't have I don't have a remote. So, instructions gives you the parts layout on the sprue, so that's how I know I have all the parts. Now, as always, we start off with the cockpit. We assemble the cockpit and we assemble the intake trunk, which Trumpeter is the only one that gives you an intake trunk. Of decent size, of a decent size. So we assemble the cockpit. We put it on the, we put it on the intake trunk, and we assemble the air brakes. So the next thing we got to do is we put the cockpit and the combing in that in the fuselage, along with the air brakes and the engine, which we have to assemble because you get open and closed nozzles on this. And you close it up. Now here's the kicker. The wings are two separate items. Which in reality makes it difficult to make sure the wings are flat in that. Versus what the other kits have. And I'll show you later. But anyways, you assemble the wings. You put your flaps. You put your flaps on and your leading edge slats. Okay, next next page. You put the wings on and horizontal stabilizers. You put all the put all the wheel wells on and the doors. Now this is and you get two different in-flight probes you got to put on the bottom. You also get a pivot tube which you get the straight and the one with the that's that's been hinged up because they they hinged it up to uh, make faculate storage better. And you get the main landing gear doors closed but you can have them open. Now to have them open, 
it should show you here somewhere. Yeah, you have to, you have to cut the gear doors off. You got to cut it down here and put them on. Then you um, assemble your landing gear and you put them on like that. Then you put your your canopy on. You get a ladder with this, and and some, and some external fuel tanks. Now, I think it's res kit. But I'm not too sure. I'll have to look it up. They they give you better quality resin. Well, they're actually three D print, printed uh, external fuel tanks for this. So you can make. You, I think you get. Two different sizes and the only difference between the two different sizes is the length so they give you a a tank is in it is split so that you could either assemble like this one or you put an insert to make it longer okay so we have a decal sheet here Deckle sheet looks nice. Just shining it in the light. If I can get it to shine in the light for you, you could just see the the film, and it's very close to the parts of. You don't have too much film. Now you get. Now you get. Oh, I got upside down. Now you get. Uh, um, you get the instrument panel let me get that doesn't look too bad but I think I'd get an aftermarket PE set or something for that okay but they look good registration markings look good okay so let's so you got your fuselage and your intake trunk now the intake trunk has the nose wheel well built in and the trunk has the design the stiffeners like they're supposed to the cockpit has has some detail on it. Let me get it closer here. But there's no there's no knobs or anything like that. So yeah, there's the back part that goes in behind here. Okay, and of course there's no internal detail, but. The panel lines, let me get this in here and focus it for you. Panel lines look pretty good. Considering, you know, I don't know how this thing will build, but we'll give it a shot. Now, the wings, and this is where this bugs me, is you get your slats and you get your different parts for your wing flaps I mean the detail focus this up a little bit here you get your slats you got wing details and your flaps and that they don't look too bad the wheel well detail looks good so does the um, but you know panel lines look good too both and under there that's better but like I said what bugs me is they uh, made two separate instead of having a centerpiece I'll show you what I mean on the other kits 
you get side you get four sidewinders and a drop tank you get two different types of drop tanks now Now this is the um, instrument pan. Now this is the sprue with the instrument panel on it. And as you can see, it's void of any detail. This is the front combing with the with the head up, head up display. Ladder looks pretty nice. It's pretty thin. The ladder's pretty thin. You get other other parts there's there's the the bent fueling probe and where is it here the straight fueling probe landing gear looks landing gear looks fairly nice now there's the there's the ex, the exhaust the, the inside of the exhaust and you get where's the other exhaust there's, there's supposed to be two exhausts here let me check back here in the other parts no, I don't see instruction says two different exhausts I'm pretty sure it does let me check Let me check. I could be wrong. No, according, according to this, you get two options. So you do get two options. You C9 and F4. F, C9 and F20. So this is the F. So where's the C? There's the C, but there's no, oh, there it is, it fell off, it's in the, still in the bag, there we go, let me get a pin here, so I can get my fat fingers out of the way, there's the other exhaust, in the closed position, and then you got this exhaust, in the open position you get nice interior to it wheels don't look too bad but again reds kit got probably better ones you get two different um you get, for some reason they give you two different um wells for the air brakes there's the Landing gear covers and the other landing landing gear covers they look good. Your wheels. You got little we look at how small that joystick is. Put my first my thumb here. See? Look how small that joystick is. Good thing modelers invented good thing we have tweezers. So the other one's just got, the other one has pylon. Other sprues just all pylons. I think they're, they're the same pylons that go on their, their D's and F models as well. So, in the end, we have two, we got the uh, clear plastic parts. Now, let's zoom in. And focus as you can see they're not bad for clarity right front windshield front windshield's not bad either so that's pretty good so that's the trumpeter kit now let's clear off the deck here put this all 
back in the box and on the floor. Now, we do the demo. So, back, back this thing off a little bit. Oops, put that back in the bag. So, now we have the Hasegawa kit. Now, this is a fairly old kit. This has been out many, many years, and Hasegawa keeps re reissuing it. It's too bad they never really got around to like their other kits and replaced it with something modern. Now, the Hasegawa kit is pretty, it's pretty rudimentary. Okay, let's zoom in on the instruction sheet here. As you can see, very basic hot pit. Combing and, and instrument panels in one. Okay, nose is separate, but it's blank, so there's no, no intake trunk. I think I think you can only get one style of intake or exhaust. Okay. And you put your basically it's a pretty straightforward put together. Now you put your wings together, canopy, again air brakes. This one here they they make the gun trough separate. From the fuselage so that saves some work on here you got your um, landing gear doors your pivot tube you only get one your wheels etc and of course you get your your drop tanks and your weapons now you only get one decal option which is the one on the box i like it too it's 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 a nice color scheme too so I don't know if I'm going to be using it. And in the back to give you the layout, parts layout. And in the front to give you some history. So, this is what, why we know this is an old kit. Because if you look on the, let's focus this a little bit. As you can see, it's all raised detail. much like all the kits of that time period, all the details are raised. Now, this is what's it. This is what I think is a better option when it comes to the wings. The wings, of course, are raised detail. The flaps aren't dropped. No biggie there. You got some interior detail, but nothing a little wire in that could help. Wouldn't hurt. But, <coughs> excuse me. This is what I like better. You put this, you put this kit together, and you put the wings on. Then you know your wings are on there, flat and straight. The way that trumpeter did it, it, it it's going to be much, much harder. Let me back this up, focus this a little bit better. This is going to make, it makes it much, much harder to get the wings to sit flat. Now, now, vertical stabilizer comes comes in two pieces it's like it's one piece on one side and one piece on the other so when we so we when we do the check these things on the book we can show you now it's very simplistic kit like even the wee wells have very little detail the flaps have very little detail. There's your cockpit. 
get you get one you get one in in-flight refueling probe. Well actually no. No that you get yeah you get the straight one too. It didn't show that in the instructions. Then you get the pivot tube, which will give you the short version for this kit. Sight wonders, eh. They need replacing. Now, the top of the wings, yeah, they got raised detail too. I mean, you could build it as is, or you can, you can, um, rescribe it if you want. Now, landing gear is pretty rudimentary. There's no details on any of the front wheel doors have a detail. And there's your there's your ejection seat and your back of your thing. The back deck. I got you know, there's the exhaust. Again I have to use my pencil. But that's the exhaust you get. And it's the only one on here, so that's that's the one you get. The other vertical stabilizer is in the bottom of the box. You see it in the corner right here. The detail on that, of course, is raised, but got at least good thick tabs on that. The wheels are pretty, pretty rudimentary too. So you could build this kit and make a nice kit out of it. But like I said, it's very rudimentary. This would be a good starter kit for some, some young person wants, wants to build one. Now, I asked for the canopy. Nazca has never been too bad about the clarity of their canopies. That's why I'll give them that much. Even though it's a one piece affair. There's not much in the cockpit to see anyways because it's so small. There's just no detail in there. Unless you shoehorn a resin one in there or something. Now, let's look at these two. Basic, back this off a little bit so you can actually see something. Now, this is a Super Saver kit from Italieri, which basically is the same kit as the EMT one, which is this one down here, which is the two seater. Okay. So the only difference between these two kits is the length of the fuselage. One has two seats, one has one, one seat. So what we're going to do is we're going to review this one and then show you the two seat one here. So we pull this one out of the box and have a look. Now, let's look at the instructions. Okay, let's focus this, let's focus this down a little bit more. Okay, so you get a bit of history. You get three languages. No, six languages. Okay, you get parts layout on the sprues. So now we start into building this thing. As always, you start with the cockpit. Now, it has a slightly better cockpit, I have to admit. Yeah. The instrument panel, the instrument panel has some detail. So you build the cockpit. Now, 
I know Aries has a replacement cockpit for this, so I would be going with that one. Instrument panel. You place your instrument panel in, you put your wheel wells in, and then you you seal up the, you seal up the fuselage. As you notice, it's the two half of it, the vertical stabilizer hat is a two piece affair. You put your you put your um, dash on the front that has the head up display and a little piece of plastic goes in there. Your nose is separate goes on here. Now again, no through intake trunk. That's where Trumpeter has these kits beat. You put your horizontal stabilizers on. The wings again bottom half it, the bottom half is one piece of fare and you put the two tops and then you put the wing fences on okay let's see what else we got here you put your you put your flaps down your air brakes down again the gun the gun parts are separate from the fuselage you get three again you get three you get two different um, in-flight refueling probe plus plus the um, the um, pivot tool on the front that there is is the landing hook because if they ever shoot the runway even if it's US Air Force they still have trap wires that that stop them if they can't stop you assemble your wheels with your with your covers on it see this one shows this one here shows the when you put the The gear doors on, you put them up on this one. And you get, and you get bombs or fuel tanks. And that's, that's the arrangement you got. You got a choice, that fuel tank, that fuel tank, and two bombs. Now you get again. You get two bare metal aircraft. One is for Weathersfield in U UK, and the other one is for Brindgarden in Germany. I was. I'm going to go with the Southeast Asian scheme for this. Now. Unlike the Hathagala kit, let's get this. We have recess detail. Now you don't get the dropped flaps like you did do in the Trumpner kit, but you get a decent detailed cockpit or wheel well, sorry. And an air an air brake well. Okay, so but the fuselage it goes together rather nice. I've had this test fit it before. <coughs> and again, it's all recessed. And there's the spot where you put your your gun, your gun ports. Now, can it? Now, this is the cockpit. It's all loose. If I bring it up close, let's see how close I can get it and get it to focus. You got some detail on that. It's not too bad. Let's see here. There's 
Will Wells avoid of any detail, but I think you could buy resin replacement Will Wells for that too, which will spruce it up. There's the there's the interior of the main landing gear doors. You get again open and closed exhaust with this thing. Come on, focus. Decent land ejection seat. The the uh, landing gear looks fairly decent. Doors for the nose wheel look fairly decent. So does the doors for the main wheel wells. And there's your there's your cannon ports right there. Now, just like just like the Hasegawa kit. No, just like the Hasegawa kit. Get you focused here. You got one piece bottom wing with part of a fuselage incorporated in it. Now this is a very tight fit. I've had there. You know it's tight when it snaps like that. There. That makes sure you have at least at least the wings flat when you put it together. It may not look it on here, but once you once you glue it and assemble it, it'll straighten out. Okay, so back to close ups. There's the air brake doors. They're not bad. Various pistons. There's your two your two pivot tubes and your tail hook. The cockpit. The uh, instrument panels. Not bad. If you want to build it that way, well, paint it black, a little dry brushing with silver, and now that'll pop that out. The fuel tanks look better. So, the only difference between the two kits, the single seater and the, and the twin seater is, like if you look here, they're identical. I didn't focus that, sorry. back it off a little bit they're identical so the only difference with this with the entire kit is that this is a two-seater again it has recessed panel lines it's got cockpit tub now I, I'm pretty sure no it's not in production right now I'm pretty sure you can get a PE set for that. Well, there's a little flash on it, but you know, it's not very thin. It's not nothing. It's thinner than paper. And you get an extra, of course, ejection seat because the sprues are the same. So there's no sense of showing you this sprues because they're the same. The only difference in the, between the two, like I said, is the two seat version which I'm going to do I'm going to pick a scheme for it now, now the decal sheet for single sheet seater oh yeah got to do the I forgot to do the canopy now the canopy is a one piece affair as well and 
it's it's fairly decent too let's close let's get a close-up of that see it's clear too the two seat canopy is just as clear look at that now a deckle sheet I like these schemes let's back this thing let's back this puppy off a little bit there we go I like I like these uh, this, I like the scheme that's on the box on this this is the one I was if I was to build a two-seater this is the one I'm going to go with that is sharp Okay, the registration's not too bad if I get it to shine. You see, there's not much deco film on there. Who makes this for a tally area? I wonder. It says who it's made from. I barely see it. Let's, let's focus in a little bit and see if I can get, read, the, read it here on the camera. It says printed by as it says who it's printed by they're not bad decals they look nice they're, they're nice they're nice and clean nice and thin very little very little deco foam around the edges of the stuff unless it's required like like those uh like those uh, those uh, stripes or like US Air Force or US Air Force it's not bad no where's the deco sheet for this one no really let's get the instruction sheet for this one Let's see what ones we got here. My construction sheet is basically the same. I'm going to back this off a little bit. This is the AMT instruction sheet versus the um, versus the Talieri one, but. As you can see, if I can find where the sheet went, everything is everything is chaos here. Oh, oh that's the. That's the other. Oh well, the instruction sheets here someplace. Atelier redid the instruction sheet for themselves, so. But let's see what, what aircraft we got. We got, we got the 81st Tactical Fighter, we got the 50th Tactical fi Fighter Wing, and we have the 354th tactical fighter wing. So both are good schemes. So let's okay, so let's remove some stuff here. Oh here's the accelerator again. So basically as you can see with between the two this one and that one, they're basically the same. Just that Talieri did their own instead of using the AMT one. Okay, so now 
we do some a little research here. Let me get my book back up. Ta-da! So this is let's focus this in a little bit. Let's see if we can get it. So you can actually see something without getting too small. There. Okay, so this is the drawings for the A and the C. So we have to get our trumpeter kit back up. So we do a fuselage check. We turn this sideways so we can get this guy and we put it on. Right above the right under the light. So So you can see it's not bad, but it's not good either. It, right, the fuselage is not bad. It's the um, this part here. Flip it over to use the other one. line it up see it's not bad but it's also not good you can still see it's not quite right all right this part here should be down here lower this this fuselage half tells more telling tale because you're not you don't have all the stuff on it but you see just not quite right but you know it's close it's not bad now separate wings that kind of presents a problem of its own so you put the upper I'll get the upper wings on try the upper wings on this And as you can see, let's cut the one off. It might help it might help with the might help with it on the drawing. Get a little flatter. There we go. So as you can see it's close but they they messed up the they messed up the flaps because if i put that right along the fuselage now mind you drawings are not always correct but as you see the flaps are just a little long than this one so we flip, I get the flip side. Find the flip side. There we go. And we put the 
bottom wings on here. And you get up correctly there now, as you can see the doors don't line up and we're looking at we're looking at this one here we're looking at this one here as you notice the doors don't line up properly and it's a little short in the tip there it's lined up right with the fuselage so okay so that is that one so we throw that back in the box and now we do the D, which I still have here. Oh, this is the D drums. So let's check the let's check under the wing. Okay, so this should be. As you can see, it's a little short. The wings are a little short. Okay, this part here, if I get, get my finger out of the way, as you can see, this part here is not quite correct. A little short in the tips. Though the landing gear lines up better. Now, as for the fuselage, that's the F. I need the other side. I need the other one. There's the D. There's our D. Okay. So we take this one, line up with this one. Now, minus the nose cone. Okay, remember that there's no nose cone on this. Okay, not bad, except this this is a little off. The um, canopy looks good. The length is fine. Looks fairly good. It's just, uh, again, the rudder's just a little off, but not by much. In other words, you could you could live with the with the problem. You can live with the problem. together again much as I hate trying to put this off and on because it is a tight it is a tight bloody fit which is good that means no humongous seams okay so it's more center to the camera So again, as you can see, it's not quite on there yet. Hang on. There. As you see, the tips are short. The length and the width of the body is fine. 
And here's the stabilizers for this puppy. I got quite the mess on the floor here, I'm going to have to set up later. This one out too, but they're both the same kit, so look at the heart particle stabilizers and they're attached short too. I'm not gonna worry about it now. Fuselage for the two seater right here Just have a look. okay so line this all up and there we go As you can see, it's not quite. The fuselage is not bad. It's this part that's gonna gonna raw on us. But you know what? If it walks like a duck, looks like a duck, and crashes like a duck, it's generally a duck. So we'll go with that. Now, what next? I got you say. Well, I have. this for the Atelier kit and the NT kit and what this is is from Black Blackbird Models and it is you get a new wing with all the all the slats and everything on it Now, basically, I'll get them out here. Basically, the wings are one piece of fare, okay? And the other, the other knees are identical. All they've done is taken this wing and made this. Now it fits fairly nice in there. Now it's a good fit too. It's a tight fit like the original. So if you wanted to do with all the bells and whistles with the slats down and all that, that's great. Now, if we go back here though, if I remember correctly, we put this on the drawings and I think the wings are a little bit the wings are better they're, they're more get more in if I get correct correctly here see not bad not bad at all there we go it's like it actually has a better wing on it it's far better than the kid original so I have to give kudos to Glenn and his company for getting getting that out to us now you wonder will it fit the Hasegawa kit well 
just to prove my point, just to prove yay or nay, I'll get the half, get the half star of slash. Now, this is where no, not all things are created equal. It fits, but as you can tell, you put the two halves together. Everything's slightly different. There is no these two. There's no near. They're not even close to one another. Like you can make a you can make a decent super saver out of this, but as you could tell under under the wings is underneath is way different. Especially in this part here. So that's, you could probably make it fit. Okay. You could shim it, do some work. You could even use your wing that you're not going to use anymore and put it on here. Still got the same problem, but a little a shim and a little sanding and a little rescribing, and you should be fine if you want to put a better wing on it. But that's up to you. I wouldn't bother. I probably wouldn't bother in the end. So that is the Blackbird set. Now. The other set I have here is an older set. We've seen it at the beginning of the video. It is the obscure one. Now the obscure one is a little different. It's designed for the EMT artillery kits too, except it's only meant for the D model. I don't think they made any two seat C's. I don't think so. I think they only had the F. But anyways, again, one piece wing. Everything's identical, including lack of, in this case, lack of uh, detail underneath where the other one. At least Glenn's, at least Glenn's company put, put wires in that underneath this one. This one's strictly void. Now, same thing. Now, problem is, again, this is the this is the Italiari kit, and it doesn't fit very well. A little bit of a fight on that one. I think it was originally designed. I let me check the instructions. I got it wrong. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it says enables you to convert your SCs or Italiari D into a C. So, makes me wonder if well, it, 
doesn't fit the Hasegawa one. And the Talieri one. There's a big gap in that one too. I don't understand why. You're gonna have to set. Look, looks like you're gonna have to cut something out of there to get that to fit. Because if I, if I mistake, not mistaken, if you try, well, you could probably sand it. Up easy, sand it down to make it fit better. But still. But still, it's still it's uh, if you line line the front end up, there's still it's still short short and uh, it's still short, which means you're gonna have to shim that up. Now. The tail, it's supposed to be, as you, as you can see, the tail's, tail is different uh, between the C and the D, and it is a little shorter, but well, first of all, let's see how this lines up for accuracy. Because you could use this one for both the D and the C, and that's what I, that's what I'm getting. That's what I'm getting with this one. It moved when I, I moved fingers. It moved. Hang on. Okay, there we go. That's sort of what I'm getting here it's not it's not perfect you get the slats in the bag and an air brake except I probably use the tip air brake now C let's check the Check the vertical stabilizer against the actually it tends to be more it looks like it's slightly more accurate than the than the um uh, the trumpeter tail. Hmm, interesting. Little molding flash there, but that's easily gotten rid of. But well, that's a long video. I hope you enjoyed. And remember, every build is an adventure, so go make it awesome. And I hope and I see you again. And thank you for watching. And please support me on my Patreon or donations to my PayPal. And thank you.